Mode set. Executing. What's up, gamers? It's your boy, CDROM 1019. Welcome back to Tales of Monkey Island, and welcome to Chapter 4, The Trial and Execution of Guybrush Threepwood. Alright, three chapters down, two to go. This one's supposed to be a fun one back on Flotsam Island. Uh, we were... We got we finally got our hands on La Sponja Grande and then got knocked out by Morgan in the process after uh, besting uh, Dakava. Let's see what awaits us in this chapter. All settings are good. Let's get right into it. But first, Mojo with the recap. For a cure to the pirate afflicting parks of Lechak, the fates of Guybrush Treepwood and Morgan Le Flay are blown off course when they are swallowed by a lovelorn leviathan. Much to Morgan and Guybrush's surprise, an uneasy alliance to escape the beast blossoms into a genuine friendship between the pirate and pirate hunter. A tidal shift that leads Treepwood to the elusive pox curing a Sponja Grande. But Guybrush learns too late that it is the wise pirate who prepares for the inevitable change in the winds as Morgan betrays him and returns him to the scientific clutches of the Marquis de Sange. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Joke's on you, Desinch. I don't have the pox anymore. pieces of silver, mon petit chouchou. Just as we agreed. It had better be, or I'll cut the difference out of your fluffy wig. I got an idea. Why don't you let me go and I'll pay you double what the Marquis is paying. Don't embarrass yourself, Springwood. Uh... Oh yeah? I'll pay triple. <laughs> Quadruple? Quadruple? <laughs> Quintuple. Quintuple? <laughs> Sextuple? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Sweepwood. You grossly underestimate the value of that which curses through your body. Well, I've got a pretty good idea. Why my spit alone once won me 8,000 pieces of eight on Booty Island. Then you should die, knowing that you gave a priceless gift to science! <sighs> Finally! I've got this sweepwood, I've got the formula, and soon I'll have nothing left than life eternal! Oh, I'm as happy as a penguin sliding on its belly! Yeah, Morgan. You did this. It's a welcome back party. I hope they brought ice cream cake. I brush three wood. We've been waiting a long time for this. Hey, why can't I stop my legs? What? No! No, come back! This cracker croaker's got a date in the court of pirate law! You test tube tinker and talleyrand! What? And then the scurvy dog will hang. You after him. Hey, I brought you three wood, and you paid me. We're done here. We'll just see about that. Thank you. 
Well, it appears court's in session. All right, chapter four. Captain Threepwood, having been found guilty of all charges, you will be taken to the nearest ship and keel hard until your ravaged skin hangs in tatters from your bleeding. Guilty? But I haven't been charged with anything yet. You haven't? Where's that incompetent prosecutor? Right here, Your Honor. Oh, no. Oh, great. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, Your Eminence, but old Stan had to inflagrante his delicto. Uh. There was a line in the washroom. Belay your excuses, you sniveling sea weasel, and get on with the charges. I've got grog waiting for me at Club 41. Of course, your immensity. Your Honor, pirates and wenches of the gallery. Hey, that's us. This evening I will prove beyond a scintilla of a shadow of a doubt that Guy Brush Threepwood is guilty of no fewer than four heinous crimes. I thought there'd be three. Firstly, that he did knowingly engage in a bar fight that horribly injured the beloved feline of local pirate elder, Hemlock McGee. Hey, it's still good for him. Secondly, during this self-same fight, Captain Threepwood spilled boiling nacho sauce on the exposed leg of Bolson Catherine Krebs. Hideously scarring one of Flotsam's shapeliest gams. Get him alive! Thirdly, that he did conspire with one Joaquin de Oro to craft and sell counterfeit porcelain power pirates. It's all about spreading the box! And finally, that he folded, spindled, and mutilated this previously pristine ex belonging to Flotsam's newest arrival, Killick Hardtack. What the heck? Um, yeah, he did that to me. Captain Threepwood, having heard the grave charges arrayed against you, how do you plead? Uh, yeah, not guilty. These are stupid. These charges are stupid. And yeah, believe me, I know from stupid. Captain Threepwood, you're out of order! I'm out of order. You're out of order. The whole mizzen mastered pirate legal system is out of order. The defendant will shut his festering god before the court shuts it for him! Do it! Sorry. I plead not guilty. I plead 1,000% not guilty. Especially that last one about the X. Very well. Let it be recorded that the miserably guilty defendant has entered a plea of not guilty. Now, who would you like to represent your pathetic case? Uh, public defender? Do you have some sort of public defender? A public defender? In pirate court? <laughs> And the rude. So that'd be a no then. Okay, what about Stan? Hey, He's Stan, a smooth talker. Why don't you represent me for old times' sake? You mean those old times when you swindled me out of a ship, stuck me in a coffin for three months, scammed my insurance company, and got me involved with high-risk doubloon derivatives? Uh, yes. Sorry, kid. Nothing personal, but I stand to make a bundle in legal fees off these honked-off flotsamites. Ugh. I really don't like you. Your jacket, Stan. I don't get it. <laughs> Why do people who use gradients think it's a smart idea? I guess I'll represent myself. Captain Threepwood, are you aware of the old pirate court saying, the pirate who represents himself in court has a soon-to-be keel-hard fool for a client? <laughs> yes, Your Honor, and I am that fool. Fine, your move, Counselor. Here's your briefs, kid. Okay, so I got four charges against me and I have to defend myself. So I'm charged with ruining a perfectly good ex. Suspect plausible. Court hopes he's not just making things up. Hmm. Thigh crimes and misdemeanors. Discontinuation of Club 41's nacho sauce makes proof of guilt difficult, but court deems it unlikely that some other mix of fluids could have caused Krebs' distinctive burn. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Pussycat seems traumatized, but court has seen far too many crippled pirates miraculously healed by a tonic of a, tonic of a cash settlement. If that kitty moves one inch, this case is over. Okay, so I just gotta make the cat move. One ball of yarn, death by mauling. Counter for collectibles. Testifying in return for a lighter sentence doesn't trust stool parrots. Their testimony is only as firm as their last bribe. Confiscation of sextants. Hmm. Okay. Arrest in possession of tiny sea sponges exists will cure the pox. 
court is skeptical as can confiscate as artificial artifact as a matter of policy. Also possession of unremarkable unremarkable wedding ring. What? What do you mean unremarkable? That's a huge diamond. All right. Hmm, an empty gibbet. We cleaned it out just for you, sweet meat. All right. First of all. Hey, hard tech. Defense will refrain from addressing the bailiff in open court. Sorry. Sorry. Um. Okay. Why is it always an X? Why not T marks the spot? Just to check the evidence here. Okay, and the sponge. Can't take that back either. I'm surprised Doro ever fell for that. That empty nacho plate is making me hungry. And the kitty. That paralyzed cat is creepy. <laughs> well, he's still alive. And the stentographer is dead. Back for me? Why is the stentographer dead? Very interesting. I don't even remember saying exsanguinate. No, no, I'm not questioning your professionalism. It's just that I don't even know the meaning of... Yes, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. Mm. Okay, well... Uh, let's see. I object. I object. To what? To this trial. To your hat. To the way my beard's itching. I also object to the way that guy's looking at me. Hey. And to this hook. And and three, one. You will cease your foolish distractions before we come down and cease them for you. Yeah, Le <laughs> legaling is hard. Hey, Stan. Hmm. I appear to be able to make him mad, but only for a, for a few seconds. Hey, that should come in handy for something. Ah, no fraternizing between the defense and prosecution while court is in session. If you want a gab, call for a recess. Uh, okay, good call. Uh, let's see. I like to call a witness, and I'll call Hardtack. If it pleases the court, I'd like to call Bailiff Hardtack to the stand. Bailiff Hardtack! Oh, that's me. Do you swear on Blackbeard's log to tell the truth to the best of your ability as a grog-swilling, backstabbing pirate? I suppose. Bailiff Hardtack, could you tell the court about your claim against Guybrush Threepwood? Well, uh, back on Spinner K, <coughs> I was getting ready to bury me modest chest of treasures, you see. My collection of spaghetti strainers, my silver paprika shaker, and so on. When all of a sudden, this three-foot bloke runs up to me, waving his arms and telling me to look out for a three-headed monkey that's right behind me. <gasps> well, naturally, I turned and looked, but there was nothing there. <coughs> when I regained my composure, three-foot was nowhere to be found. And worst of all... Yes? He dug up my perfectly good ex. It's ruined now. Oh, come on. He's all yours, buddy. <clears throat> sure. Hey, Bailiff. You're lying, aren't you? This whole story about your ex is a big, fat lie, isn't it? No, sir. Hmm. Come on, admit it. Come on, you're lying. Admit it. No, sir. Liar. Come on. Oh, you got me, sir. But why? Well, I didn't have anything else to do after you killed me boss and left me without a job. <coughs> oh, I could have charged you with that instead. Oh. Your Honor, I move for a mistrial. Granted! Bailiff Hardtack! As punishment for wasting this court's time, you will be compelled to wear Lizig's wig of foppery until such time as I am no longer tempted to gavel you into a fine paste! Mm. Ooh, it's delightful! Well, that's one charge down. Um... Let's see. 
Uh, recess, please. Honor, I'd like to call a recess to confer with my client. Bailiff, please escort Captain Threepwood to the brig. Oh yeah, Your Honor. Well, at least I'm not about to be dissected by a crazy scientist. Yeah, that's now, something. Break out of here, find a lane, and use La Esponja Grande to. Hey, what happened to my cool voodoo sponge? All possessions will be returned to the prisoner once he has been cleared of all charges. In the likely event that the prisoner is not cleared of all charges, his property will be distributed to his heirs. But I don't have any heirs that I know of. Then they'll be auctioned off at Yebay. <laughs> Yebay. So, is there anything to do in here? There's the bar. The bar looks pretty loose. <laughs> nope, not loose. Oh, get off, you! Hey, guard, what do you want? Uh, let's see. Aren't I entitled to some bread and water? Bread and water? <laughs> I pride myself on providing Flotsam's prisons with the finest in haute cuisine. Wait here. Wait here. Huh. That's funny. Hmm. This part of the wall looks like it's made of pretty loose stuff. I wonder if I could dig my way out. Uh. I thought he'd never leave. What the? It's solid steel under here. Oh, that ain't gonna work. Stupid reinforced wall. Hey, where's my dinner? My whole cuisine. Oh, the prisoners don't get any food. That's for the gods and judges. Delicious, too. Jerk. <laughs> hmm. What do I got? My court briefs? Okay. Hey, guard. What do you want? Uh, let's see. Um, I want to see my lawyer. I see my lawyer. Your lawyer? Yeah, you might have heard of him. Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate at law. Fine. All right, counselor. Judge Grindstump says you got five minutes. That should be more than enough for this piece of scum. I hope you had a good excuse for dragging me out of bed at this ungodly hour. Uh. I need to know how my case is going. I haven't heard from you in days. Not to worry, old bean. I think I can talk the judge down from drawn quartering to drawn thirding. Fraud! Guard! I'm quite done with my client! I'll get you, Threepwood! <laughs> it's the last thing I do! That was easy. Sorry about that, Mr. Threepwood. I know those prisoners can be a rowdy lot. Think nothing of it, Mr. Hardtack. Now, where can I find a good grog? Club 41's right over there, sir. Okay, to Club 41. What the? When did this get here? Stan? Kybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you out and about, kid. Hope they haven't been treating you too badly in the Hooskow. Well, there is a pretty scary-looking rat in my cell. At least I hope it's a rat. Well, that's just swell, kid. Look, could you get out of the way and make room for some paying customers? What are you doing now, Stan? What are you doing out here? Shouldn't you be prepping for trial? Hey, no offense, kid, but the day old Stan can't beat you in open court with one wildly flapping arm tied behind his back is the day I haul my corpus juris back to Jambalaya Island for the full restitutio and integrum. Know what I mean? Not really. Exactly. Ah, uh, Stan, what are you really doing so out here? if you're not preparing for trial, what are you doing out here? Following Stan's rule number one, ABM. ABM? Always be merchandising. People love following the trials of famous pirates, even B-list pirates like yourself. B-list? That's why old Stan got all the souvenirs and timeless keepsakes you'll ever need to remind you of this month's Trial of the Century. He, he, he. And how are those sales going? How are sales going? Great. Celebrity merchandise is always a good investment. Especially if you suspect that the celebrity in question is about to become a wind chime in the gallows. Nothing sells like dead celebrities. Yeah? Well, I don't plan on dying today. And I didn't plan to wear the same jacket for 20 years, but here we are. Ha! Funny joke. Stan, about these charges. Sorry, kid, can't talk. Conflict of interest, attorney, pirate privilege, and all that stuff. But la 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 la, not talking to you about it. Hmm. What are you selling? I know I'll kick myself for asking, but what sorts of trial souvenirs are you selling? 
question you should be asking is what kind of souvenirs am I not selling? Behold, the People vs. Threepwood collection. Okay, let's ask about the beard toy. What's that? That, my piratey friend, is a little novelty I like to call draw the beard on the guy brush. Using the power of magnetism and iron shavings, you can give Flotsam's most notorious criminal an infinite array of amusing and degrading hairstyles. Observe. What the? This one doesn't have a magnet. And look, it's leaking iron shavings. This is what you get when you use shoddy Fat Island labor. Hmm. Okay. How about the doll? Hey, a little me. That's right, Threepwood. A faithful reproduction right down to the lacy garter belt. Hey, I only wore those once. It is I, Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. <laughs> Sounds nothing like me. Yeah, I know. To be honest, your real voice didn't focus test all that well. Uh, the shirt. That's supposed to be you? None other. Now you and your friends can relive the trial of the century while lounging around in this comfortable polyblend t-shirt, emblazoned with the iconic image of yours truly, the crusading attorney bringing his no-holds-barred brand of justice to Flotsam Island. Hmm. On second thought. Mm, on second thought. Say no more. Uh, nice jacket. No matter how many times I see it, I can't get over your jacket. You like it? I just had it in for its annual re-stitching and de-resing. <laughs> okay. Um, why don't you have the pox? You're remarkably free of the pox. Nothing remarkable about it at all, Threepwood. Haven't you been paying attention? The pox only affects real, 100% honest to Blackbeard pirates. Now, I've been many things in this life. A salesman, a real estate agent, a troubadour, stevedore, ralphador, and even a brief but memorable stint as an exotic dancer to pay my way through law school. But one thing I'm not and never will be is a pirate. Ah. Hmm. Okay, bye. See you in court, Stan. Hey, that's pretty funny. Can I go inside here? Hey there, youngster. I know you're curious about the behind-the-scenes working of Stan's courtroom emporium, but I'm afraid I'm gonna have to ask you to step away from the door. Why? Because that's where Stan works his magic, kid. It's where my dreams become reality. And some of my realities become dreams. So it's where you're sleeping? Yeah, but only until this souvenir business picks up. Mm, okay, well I will take your beard toy here. Hello, sir. Hello? You! Zoro? What happened to your eye? What happened to your eye? I tell you what happened to my eye, smarty guy. When I dug up that phony dark ninja Dave you planted. Allegedly planted? Allegedly planted. I got a speck of dirt lodged in my eye. A week later it got infected. And Dr. Descent had to cut it out. Yeah, I just bet he did. Now I need a glass eye. What do you... Why do you want a glass eye? Why do you want a glass eye? Your eye patch is much more piratey. Eye patches are so last month. All the cool pirates are getting scary glass eyes these days. The folks are still cool, right? Grr. I guess. But you really can't beat a glass eye. Mm, what are you in for? What are you in for? I got arrested for trying to auction a counterfeit Dark Ninja Day figurine at eBay. eBay? You know, that day with the auction thing. Oh, yeah. Luckily for me, Stan got me a reduced sentence in exchange for my testimony against you. Me? What did I do? You were the one that made the counterfeit Dave in the first place. Oh, yeah. That. Yeah, but I didn't try to sell it. Why aren't you poxed? You know, I can't help but notice that you don't seem to be afflicted by the pox of LeChuck. Oh, don't remind me. All the other pirates have gotten the pox, so why not me? Have you thought about the possibility that you might not actually be a pirate? <coughs> I am too a pirate! Okay, okay, you are a pirate. I'm sure the pox will be coming for you any day now. Hmm. And stop testifying, please. I'm sorry about the jail time, but you've got to stop testifying against me. I've got a wife and scores of pirates to cure. You're going to cure the pox? Eventually, yeah. Oh, I like that. All these pox pirates are always making fun of me for not being poxed. Well, come on then. Let's do some business. Maybe. What can you offer me in return? Hmm. Hmm. What if I get you a glass eye? How about I get you a glass eye for your eye hole? That sounds interesting. And it's a deal. But I knew there'd be a big noisy butt somewhere in there. I want a really cool glass eye. And what, pray tell, makes a cool glass eye? If 
has to have a really cool color. Like the color in the eyes of those nasty poxed pirates when they're really, really angry. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Okay, bye. Uh, associating with hardened criminals like you can't be good for my legal situation. I'm out of here. Adios. Hmm. Well, fortunately, there happens to be a special uh, one person on this island who's good with glassworks. Let's see what he's doing. Hello there, uninformed man on the street. What do you want? <coughs> can you make a glass eye? I see you can make a glass leg, but tell me, can you make a glass eye? Eye. But not just any glass eyes. Genuine imitation eyes made from the crystal wreath themselves. Genuine imitation eyes? That's right. They'll imitate the eye color of anyone they see. You just point them at someone's eyes, give them a few seconds to set, and shazam! All new eye color. Hmm. When you got a color you like, just pop it in your eye socket, and it'll stay that way forever. I'm intrigued and cautiously optimistic. How much? Here, try out this defective one for free. Why is it defective? Hi. It's a little near sight. <laughs> So you'll have to get up real close to the subject to capture their eye color. Thanks. I take back all the nasty things I wrote in my diary about you. Hmm. I think I know who I can test that on. <coughs> you're still blowing glass, huh? Don't tell me you're still blowing glass. Surely a dry cleaning business would be more profitable. Ha! <laughs> that just shows what you know, Binky. People are clamoring for Crypt Digit's unbreakable tools. Clamoring! What people? Well, just one person, really. He ordered a huge supply. Don't ask me why. Why? I told you not to ask me that. Hmm. <laughs> uh. How does it feel to be hideously diseased? How do you think it feels? <laughs> bad, I'd say. Pretty bad. You got that right, Missy. Are you not outraged by this ridiculous trial? I'm just glad that scum sucking Threepwood will finally be brought to justice. Uh, I'm Threepwood. Speaking of which, shouldn't you be in a holding cell or something? We, uh, get a ten minute break every hour. It's the law. Okay, well, bye. I'll see you in your, um, pectorals later. Yeah, well, the three of us will be waiting. <laughs> three of us? Okay. What are you doing over here? Who goes there? It's me, Guybrush Threepwood, my new pirate at law. Oh, Councillor Threepwood. <laughs> what can I do for you? Um, can you get out of the way? I'd like to go into the jungle. I need to talk to a large voodoo lady about a not-so-large sponge. Sorry, mate. I'm afraid I can't allow prisoners to wander out into the jungle. You might get lost to go into hiding. But I'm not a prisoner. I'm the prisoner's attorney, Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate at law. Hmm. Well, that is a stumper, all right. But uh, just to be on the safe side, I think it would be for the best if I kept both Guybrush Threefoots out of the jungle until their trials are over. Hmm. Okay. Uh, why aren't you back on Spinner K? What are you doing on Flotsam Island, anyway? Well, <coughs> after that series of misadventures on Spinner K, I found myself without a captain or a ship. Sorry about that. Eh, it happens. So, I drifted for a bit before landing here on Flotsam. <coughs> now I've hired on as Judge Grindstock's personal bailiff slash chef, creating all sorts of new delicacies for his nightclub. It's a bit of a dream come true, it is. Uh, alright, I... I mean, no hard feelings, I guess? No hard feelings about being humiliated in open court? No worries, mate. I've been humiliated so often it's kind of second nature to me by now. Great. Besides, I didn't really think it was much of a case anyway. But that Stan fella, he seemed to think I could make a pretty piece of it off of your untimely execution. So I figured, huh, what the heck? Interesting. All right, bye. Okay, uh, we've got our work cut out for us. A lot to do here. But uh, we've got a few leads. And uh, I guess we'll explore those leads next week. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Make sure you check out the rest of the videos on the GSL YouTube channel. Check out officialytr.com slash forums for more fun. And check me out at twitch.tv slash chaos control channel.
I mean, come on. You know you want to. So until then, I will see you next week for more Tales of Monkey Island. So take care. Bye-bye!